Tamil Nadu has the second largest economy in India. Over 50% of the state is urbanized, accounting for 9.6% of the urban population in the country, while only comprising 6% of India's total population. Services contributes to 45% of the economic activity in the state, followed by manufacturing at 34% and agriculture at 21%. Government is the major investor in the state, with 52% of total investments, followed by private Indian investors at 29.9% and foreign private investors at 14.9%. It has been ranked as the second most economically free state in India by the Economic Freedom Rankings for the States of India. Topic macroeconomic trend topic This is a chart of trend of gross state domestic product of Tamil Nadu at market prices estimated in crore Indian rupees. Topic agriculture and livestock topic Tamil Nadu has historically been an agricultural state, while its advances in other fields transformed the state into being an industrialized and innovation-based economy, leading to competition for land and its resources. Agriculture is heavily dependent on the river water and monsoon rains. The perennial rivers are Pilar, Cheyar, Panayar, Kaveri, Mayar, Bhavani, Amaravathi, Vagai, Chitar and Tamarapurani. Non-perennial rivers include the Velar, Noyal, Saruli, Siravani, Gundar, Vipar, Valparai and Varshali. Tamil Nadu is the highest producer of bananas and coconuts in the whole country. It is also a leading state in production of other crops such as sugarcane, cotton, kambu, corn, rye, groundnut and oil seeds. At present, Tamil Nadu is India's fourth largest producer of rice behind West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh and Punjab Tamil Nadu is the home to Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, known as the father of the Green Revolution in India. The state is one of the major producers of turmeric in India. Given below is a table of 2015-16 national output share of select agricultural crops and allied segments in Tamil Nadu based on 2011 prices topic Industry and manufacturing topic One of the global electrical equipment public sector company BHEL has manufacturing plants at Tiruchirappalli and Ranipet. The Tamil Nadu state government owns the Tamil Nadu Newsprint and Papers TNPL, the world's biggest bagasse-based paper mills in Karur as well as the world's sixth largest manufacturer of watches together with Tata, under the brand name of Titan which has manufacturing plant in Coimbatore, 40% of all wind-generated electricity in India is created by windmills in Tamil Nadu. Danish wind power company Neg Mikon has established its manufacturing unit in Chennai. Tamil Nadu is a leading producer of cement in India and with manufacturing units located at Ariyalar, Coimbatore and Tirunelveli. High-density polyethylene HDPE monofilament yarn and associated products are manufactured in Karur for mosquito nets and fishing nets. More than 60% mosquito nets in India are manufactured here. The region around Salem is rich in mineral ores. The country's largest steel public sector undertaking, SAIL, has a steel plant in Salem. Coimbatore is major industrial hub in South India and it houses more than 30,000 small, medium and large industries. Coimbatore is known as Manchester of South India due to its extensive textile industry and also referred to as the Pump City as it supplies half or 50% of India's requirements of motors and pumps. The city is one of the largest exporters of textile, jewellery, wet grinders, poultry and auto components and the term Coimbatore wet grinder has been given a geographical indication. Larsen and Tubro has 300-acre huge manufacturing campus in Coimbatore which houses various units of company, manufactures aerospace and defense parts for leading players in the market. Thuthakudi is known as Gateway of Tamil Nadu. Thuthakudi is the major chemical producer in the state. It produces the 70% of the total salt production in the state and 30% in the country. Topic Automotive Topic Chennai is nicknamed as the Detroit of Asia. Chennai is home to large number of auto component industries. Over 11.2% of the S&P CNX 500 conglomerates have corporate offices in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu has manufacturing facilities from automobiles, railway coaches, battle tanks, tractors, motorbikes and heavy vehicles to ships. Alstom has a manufacturing facility in Coimbatore which manufactures rail transportation products. Topic vehicle parts manufacturers Topic MRF The local tire manufacturer is located in Chennai and Perumbalar. TI Cycles of Marugapa Group have their units in Chennai. 
Ucal Carburetors, TRW Rain, TV's group are established in Hosur, TV's Srichakra Tire works at Madurai. Coimbatore is home to Prickhall, Elgi Equipments, Craftsman, Roots Horn, Roland Chains and numerous Tier 1 part suppliers. Topic Transportation industry Topic About 40% of the trucks operated in the state are from Tirachengode, Sankajiri, Namakal and an area noted for its truck body building, over 18,000 trucks. Karar is well known for its bus body building industries where most of the coaches for buses used in South India are built. Heavy load trucks 12 and 14 wheels trucks are operated mostly from Sankajiri region. Tirachengode is famous for borewell drilling industry. Topic textiles Topic Tamil Nadu is the largest textile hub of India. Coimbatore often referred as the Manchester of South India due to its cotton production and textile industries. The textile industry plays a significant role in the Indian economy by providing direct employment to an estimated 35 million people, and thereby contributing 4% of GDP and 35% of gross export earnings. The textile sector contributes to 14% of the manufacturing sector. From spinning to garment manufacturing, entire textile production chain facilities are in Tamil Nadu. About half of India's total spinning mill capacity is in Tamil Nadu. The western part of Tamil Nadu comprising Coimbatore, Tirupur, Erode, Karur and Dindigul has the majority of spinning mills manufacturing cotton, polyester, blended yarn, open-end yarn and silk yarn used by garment units in Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra etc. Yarn is also exported to China, Bangladesh etc. Tirupur knitted garment units have been exporting garments for about three decades with 2015-16 exports in the range of US$3 billion. Karar is the major home textile curtain cloth, bed linens, kitchen linens, toilet linens, table linens, wall hangings etc. manufacturing and export hub in India. Erode is the main cloth market in South India for both retail and wholesale ready-mades. Madras Chennai has a large presence of woven garments shirts, pants, manufacturing units. Madurai and Kanchipuram are famous for handloom saris exported, sold all over India. Lakshmi Machine Works LMW, one of the three major textile machinery manufacturing companies in the world is located in Coimbatore. Savio also has a factory in Coimbatore. Many textile component manufacturers are in Coimbatore and some export to the Europe etc. Topic aeroscape and defense Topic The defense industry in Tamil Nadu is one of the fastest growing sector in the states generating a huge amount of export revenue. The state serves as the headquarters for numerous defense manufacturing public undertakings such as Heavy Vehicles Factory, Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment, Ordnance Factory Tirushirapali, L&T Aerospace and Defense Unit Coimbatore, LMW Advanced Technology Center, Coimbatore, Ashok Leyland Defense Systems, Mahindra Aerospace, Ramco Systems, Taneja Aerospace and Salem Aerospace Limited. The state has the country's first defense corridor and aerospace park. The principal cities manufacturing defense and aerospace components are Chennai, Coimbatore, Tiruchirappalli, Salem and the secondary manufacturing cities are Nagarkoil, Hosur. French Aerospace and Defense Company, Airbus decided to invest $1 billion crores in an aerospace project in Chennai. The company has also planned to build an helicopter assembly factory in Tamil Nadu. Tier, two cities of Coimbatore and Salem also serves as a major export hub for defense manufacturing firms. Defense, paramilitary and police personnel across the nation use guns, ammunitions and bullets manufactured from the city. Special grade steel used in making missiles are manufactured in Salem. India's multinational engineering conglomerate L&T joint venture with France-based MBDA, a world leader in missile systems planned a L&T MBDA missile systems facility at Aspen says in Coimbatore serves as its hub to export fully assembled missile systems to Europe. Tamil Nadu also is the hub station where the first Indian-made fifth-generation jet fighter plane is to be manufactured. The Aeronautical Development Agency, which conceived and designed the Light Combat Aircraft LCA Tejas, set the ball rolling for building the next generation defense aircraft, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, by initiating in Coimbatore to build a technology demonstrator. The project, to be implemented in Sular in Coimbatore district which will house the permanent base of the Tejas squadron, marks one of Tamil Nadu's first major defense aircraft project. 
Topic electronics Topic Electronics manufacturing is a growing industry in Tamil Nadu. Chennai has emerged as EMS hub of India. Companies like Flextronics, Motorola, Sony Ericsson, Foxconn, Samsung, Cisco, and Dell have chosen Chennai as their South Asian manufacturing hub. Products manufactured include circuit boards and cellular phone handsets. Ericsson also has a research and development facility in Chennai. Big EPC companies have set up their engineering centers which include Sapem India Projects Limited, Technip, Foster Wheeler, Schneider Electric, Mott McDonald, Petrofac, Austrian Company Austrian Energy and Environment have also a design office here besides local giant ECC Larsen and Tubro. Sanmina Sai is the latest company to invest in Tamil Nadu to create a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. Nokia Siemens Networks has decided to build a manufacturing plant for wireless network equipment in Tamil Nadu, the state with a projected population of about 66.5 million in year 2009 has a high mobile market share in India. According to statistics released by Telecom Regulatory Authority of India TRI, the state had a total subscriber base of 43 million mobile customers at the beginning of August 2009. Topic leather topic Tamil Nadu accounts for 60% of leather tanning capacity in India and 38% of all leather footwear, garments and components. The state also accounts for 50% of leather exports from India, valued at around $3.30 billions of the total $6.5 billion from India. Hundreds of leather and tannery facilities are located around Velour and its nearby towns, such as Ranipet, Amber and Vaniambadi. The Velour district is the top exporter of finished leather goods in the country. Velour leather accounts for more than 37% of the country's export of leather and leather-related products such as finished leathers, shoes, garments and gloves. Hundreds of leather and tannery industries are located around Velour, Dindigul and erode its nearby towns such as Ranipet, Amber, Parandurai and Vaniambadi. The tanning industry in India has a total capacity of 225 million pieces of hides and skins, of which Tamil Nadu alone contributes 70%, a leading export product share at 40% for India. It currently employs about 2.5 million persons. Leather exports by the end of 2000-2001 were 90 billion Indian rupees. Central Leather Research Institute CLRI, a CSIR research laboratory, is located in Chennai, the state capital. Topic fireworks topic The town of Sivakasi is a leader in the areas of printing, fireworks, and safety matches. It was fondly called as Little Japan by Jawaharlal Nehru. It contributes to 80% of India's fireworks production. Sivakasi provides over 60% of India's total offset printing solutions. Topic banking topic The first modern bank in Tamil Nadu, Bank of Madras was started by the Britishers in 1843. It was followed by the opening of other banks namely, Arbuthnet & Co., Bank of Chetanad, Bank of Madura, that were latter merged under the supervision of RBI. The state serves as the headquarters for the second most number of banks in India, only next to the financial capital Mumbai. The banking sector in Tamil Nadu is broadly classified into scheduled banks and non-scheduled banks, all banks included in the second schedule to the Reserve Bank of India Act, 1934 are scheduled banks. These banks comprise scheduled commercial banks and scheduled cooperative banks. Scheduled cooperative banks consist of scheduled state cooperative banks and scheduled urban cooperative banks. Scheduled commercial banks in Tamil Nadu are categorized into five different groups according to their ownership and or nature of operation. Nationalized banks Private sector banks Foreign banks Regional rural banks Small finance banks The following are the list of banks based in Tamil Nadu. Topic mining topic This is a chart of proven reserves of major minerals of Tamil Nadu in 2001 by Department of Geology and Mining with figures in tons. Tamil Nadu has a few mining projects based on titanium, lignite, magnesite, graphite, limestone, granite and bauxite. The first one is the Naveli Lignite Corporation that has led development of large industrial complex around Naveli in Kudalur district with thermal power plants, fertilizer, brecketing and carbonization plants. Tata Iron and Steel Company Tisco have entered into MO with Government of Tamil Nadu in June 2002 for establishing a titanium dioxide titanium oxide plant with a project outlay of $650 million. Magnesite mining is done at Salem apart from which mining of bauxite ores are carried out at Yurkad and this region is also rich in iron ore Kanjamalai. 
Molybdenum is found in Dharmapuri, and is the only source in the country. Topic energy topic Tamil Nadu, being an industrialized and urbanized state, is among the top three states with respect to generation of electricity. The total installed capacity of Tamil Nadu stands at around 30,200 megawatts as in September 2018, that derives 11,500 megawatts of power from solar and wind energy. Tamil Nadu has the distinction of being the leader in renewable energy in India by adopting clean sources of energy and having established wind farms as early as 1995. Today it produces more wind power than Denmark and the Netherlands. Topic. Wind energy Topic. The Tamil Nadu Energy Development Agency is a Tamil Nadu government promoting renewable energy sources and energy conservation activities. The agency has largely been responsible for instigating the tremendous growth of Tamil Nadu in the development of wind power. The total installed capacity of windmills in Tamil Nadu totals to around 8,700 megawatts. Muppandal Wind Farm is a renewable energy source, supplying the villagers with electricity for work. Wind farms were built in Nagarkoil and Tutakoran apart from already existing ones around Coimbatore, Palachi, Dharapuram and Udamalapetai. <laughs> Solar in March 2008, Signet Solar Inc. signed a memorandum of understanding with the state government to build a 20 billion Indian rupees thin film silicon photovoltaic module manufacturing plant in the Sriparumbador Special Economic Zone. In June 2008, Moser Bear inked a MO with the state government to build 20 billion Indian rupees plant for manufacturing of silicon based photovoltaic thin film modules and allied products in the Oragadam Special Economic Zone, which is closer to the Signet Solars plant in Sriparumbador. <laughs> Nuclear the Kalpakam Nuclear Power Plant, Enor Thermal Plant, Naveli Lignite Power Plant, Varudashalam Ceramics and the Naramanam Natural Gas Plants are major sources of Tamil Nadu's electricity. It is presently adding the Kudankulam Nuclear Power Plant to its energy grid. Tamil Nadu sources some of its power needs from renewable sources with wind power contributing over 2,000 MW or over 20% of the needs. Tamil Nadu is facing largest power shortage in 2013 34.1% deficit, the highest in the country, due to industrialization over the last decade. India's leading steel producer Sale has a steel plant in Salem, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu ranks first nationwide in diesel-based thermal electricity generation with national market share of over 34%. <laughs> Heidel The Metter Dam is one of the largest dams in India. It was completed in 1936. The total length of the dam is 1,700 metres. It is also called Stanley Reservoir. The Metter Hydro Electrical Power Project is also quite large Metter Dam. Metter has a number of industries 50 km from Salem City, SISCOL, Malco Madras Aluminium Company owned by Vedanta Resources, Chemplast former known as Metter Chemicals, Thermal Power Plant, Heidel Power Plant and huge number of chemical industries. There are many other dams that provide irrigation and drinking water, including the Vagai Dam. Biodiesel <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Tamil Nadu at this time is the only state to have a formal biodiesel policy to use Jatrapa crops as a source of biofuel and to distribute wasteland to the poor farmers for the planting of these crops. Topic. Transportation Topic. Tamil Nadu has a well-established transportation system that connects all parts of the state. This is partly responsible for the investment in the state. Though the present transportation system is substantial, it needs to be developed further to keep pace with the rapid increase in use. Tamil Nadu is served by an extensive road network in terms of its spread and quality, providing links between urban centers, agricultural market places and rural habitations in the countryside. 
Road Topic. There are 28 national highways in the state, covering a total distance of 5,036 kilometers (3,129 miles). The state is also a terminus for the Golden Quadrilateral Project, that is 99.2% completed as of the 31st of July 2010. Chennai CMBT and Erode Central Bus Terminus are the largest and the second largest bus terminals in Tamil Nadu, respectively. The state has a total road length of 167,000 km, of which 60,628 km are maintained by Highways Department. This is nearly two. Five times higher than the density of all India road network. It ranks second with a share of over 20% in total road projects under operation in the Public-Private Partnership PPP model. It is currently working on upgrading its road network, though the pace of work is considered slow. Topic. Rail Topic. Tamil Nadu has a well-developed rail network as part of Southern Railway. Headquartered at Chennai, the present Southern Railway network extends over a large area of India's southern peninsula, covering the states of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Pitacheri, minor portions of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Tamil Nadu has a total railway track length of 6,693 km and there are 690 railway stations in the state. The system connects it with most major cities in India. Main rail junctions in the state include Chennai, Coimbatore, Erode, Madurai, Salem, Tiruchirappalli, and Tirunelveli. Chennai has a well established suburban railway network, a mass rapid transport system, and is currently developing a metro system, with its first underground stretch operational since May 2017. <laughs> Air Tamil Nadu has a major international airport, Chennai International Airport, that is connected with 19 countries with more than 400 direct flights every day. Other international airports in Tamil Nadu include Coimbatore International Airport, Madurai International Airport and Tiruchirappalli International Airport. Chennai International Airport is currently the third largest airport in India after Mumbai and Delhi and has a passenger growth of 18%. It also has domestic airports at Tuticorin, Salem and Madurai make several parts of the state easily accessible. Increased industrial activity has given rise to an increase in passenger traffic as well as freight movement which has been growing at over 18% per year. Topic. Ports Topic. Tamil Nadu has three major ports at Chennai, Ennore, Katapalli and Tuticorin, as well as one intermediate port, Nagapatanam, and seven minor ports, Ramaswaram, Kanyakumari, Kudalore, Kalachal, Karaikal, Pamban and Valanakam of which are currently capable of handling over 73 million metric tons of cargo annually 24% share of India. All the minor ports are managed by the Tamil Nadu Maritime Board. Chennai Port is an artificial harbour situated on the Karamandal coast in southeast India and it is the second principal port in the country for handling containers. It is currently being upgraded to have a dedicated terminal for cars capable of handling 400,000 vehicles by 2009 to be used by Hyundai, Ford and Nissan Renault. Enor Port was recently converted from an intermediate port to a major port and handles all the coal and ore traffic in Tamil Nadu. The volume of cargo in the ports grew by 13% over 2005. The Tutakoran port is expanding its facilities at the cost of $1.6 billion. The Sethasamudram Shipping Canal project will transform the Tutakoran port into a transshipment hub similar to those in Singapore and Colombo. The ports are in need of improvement and some of them have container terminals privatized. Tourism. Topic. Tamil Nadu has since ancient past, has been a hub for tourism. In recent years, the state has emerged as one of the leading tourist destination for both domestic and foreign tourists. Tourism in Tamil Nadu is promoted by Tamil Nadu Tourism Development Corporation TTDC, a government of Tamil Nadu undertaking. The state currently ranks the highest among Indian states with about 248 million arrivals in 2013. The annual growth rate of the industry stood at 
approximately 2,804,687 foreign and 111,637,104 domestic tourists visited the state in 2010. The state boasts some of the grand Hindu temples built in Dravidian architecture. The Brahadishwara Temple in Thanjavur, built by the Cholas, the Aravadaswara Temple in Darasuram and the Shore Temple, along with the collection of other monuments in Mahabalipuram also called Mamalapuram have been declared as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Madurai is home to the Madurai Meenakshi Amman Temple. Sri Ranganathaswamy Temple, Sarangam is the largest functioning temple in the world, Tirushirapali where the famous Rockfort Temple is located, Rameshwaram whose temple walkways corridor are the longest 1.2 km .75 miles of all Indian temples in the world, Kanchipuram and Palani are important pilgrimage sites for Hindus. Other popular temples in Tamil Nadu include those in Ganjikonda Cholapuram, Chidambaram, Thiruvannamalai, Tirushandur, Tiruvarur, Kumbakonam, Srivaliputhar, Tirutani, Namakal, Velour, Karur, Bhavani, Coimbatore, Kanyakumari. Tamil Nadu is also home to hill stations like Udagamandalam, Oti, Kodakanal, Yurkad, Kunor, Topslip, Valparai, Yelagiri, and Manjole. The Nilgiri Hills, Palani Hills, Shivaroy Hills, Kali Hills and Cardamom Hills are all abodes of thick forests and wildlife. Tamil Nadu has many national parks, biosphere reserves, wildlife sanctuaries, elephant and bird sanctuaries, reserved forests, zoos and crocodile farms. Prominent among them are Mudumalai National Park, the Gulf of Manar Biosphere Reserve, Anamalai Wildlife Sanctuary, Vedanthangal Bird Sanctuary and Arignar Anna Zoological Park. The mangrove forests at Pichavaram are also eco-tourism spots of importance. Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of peninsular India, is famous for its beautiful sunrise, Vivekananda Rock Memorial and Thiruvallavar's statue built off the coastline. Marina Beach in Chennai is one of the longest beaches in the world. The stretch of beaches from Chennai to Mahabalipuram are home to many resorts, theme parks and eateries. The prominent waterfalls in the state are Kortalam, Haganakal, Papanasam, Manamuthar, Thirparapu, Paikara and Silver Cascade. The Chetanad region of the state is renowned for its palatial houses and cuisine. With medical care in Chennai, Velour, Coimbatore and Madurai, Tamil Nadu has the largest numbers in medical tourism in India. Topic service Topic Tamil Nadu has 526 engineering colleges, the most for any state in India giving the services industry access to qualified and skilled labour force. The state has a wide network of about 110 industrial parks and estates offering developed plots with supporting infrastructure. Also, the state government is promoting other industrial parks like Rubber Park, Apparel Parks, Floriculture Park, Tidal Park for IT, ITS, TICEL Biopark for Biotechnology, Siraseri IT Park, Elkot Says and Agro Export Zones among others. Tamil Nadu has the largest number of small and medium enterprises SMEs in India. This is a chart of trend of software exports from Tamil Nadu published by Electronics Corporation of Tamil Nadu with figures in crores of Indian rupees. Chennai is the third largest software exporter in India, next to Bangalore and Hyderabad. India's largest IT park is housed at Chennai. Software exports from Tamil Nadu during 2017-2018 rose 8.6% per cent to touch 1, 11,179 crore, involving a workforce of 780,000. Chennai is the largest hub for e-publishing, as there are 67 e-publishing units registered with the STPI in Chennai and 25 in Bangalore. Companies such as HCL, Wipro, TCS, L&T, Satum, Infosys, IBM, Zista, Adelricos, Cognizant Technology Solutions, Covensys, Zansa, Verizon, Isoft, Electronic Data Systems, Bali and many others have offices in Chennai. Infosys Technologies has set up India's largest software development centre to house 25,000 software professionals at an estimated investment of 12,500 million rupees $170 million in Chennai. India's largest IT park, SIPCOT is housed at Sirisari, Chennai. It has numerous IT companies such as TCS, CTS, Sintel, Steria, Polaris, Patni, Hexaware etc. Chennai has been rated as the most attractive city for offshoring services. 
Coimbatore is second largest software exporter in Tamil Nadu with presence of Amazon, Bosch, Cognizant, Ford, NTT Data, TCS, Wipro, HCL, Altran, Harman, Deloitte. Cognizant has more than 13,000 employees working in Coimbatore, which is their second largest headcount in India after Chennai. Bosch has one of the largest R&D development center in Coimbatore outside Germany which employs close to 5,500 in the city. Topic government revenue topic Tamil Nadu ranks fourth nationwide of all state governments in tax revenue. See states of India by tax revenues. This is a chart of trend of tax revenues including the shares from union tax pool extracted from the consolidated fund of the government of Tamil Nadu with figures in millions of Indian rupees. See also the Finance Commission of India report. Tax revenues of local bodies are excluded. This is a chart of trend of non-tax revenues and grants in aid extracted from the consolidated fund of the government of Tamil Nadu with figures in millions of Indian rupees. See also 15 and 16. Non-tax revenues of local bodies are excluded. Topic: <laughs> TN government debt. Topic Amount in millions Topic Notes Topic Topic Citation Topic 